Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is percentiles and quartiles on Tableau. If you are an Excel fan, we have a video about this topic on Excel, and the video is in our video description. So what is percentiles and quartiles? For a set of measurements arranged in increasing order, the fifth percentile is a value such that P percent of the measure fall at or below the value and 100 minus P percent of the measure fall at or above the value. So, for instance, if my, percent, so my percentile goes from 0 to 100, if my percentile is 10, 10 percent, so 10 percent of my numbers will be below it, 90 percent will be above it. And it can be used for discrete and continuous variable. And what is quartile? Quartile is quarters for quarter. So the first quartile is the 25th percentile. The second quartile, that is also the median, is the fifth percentile. And the third quartile is the 75th percentile. So quartile is a kind of percentile, and that is the most used one. And we have here the five number summary, the smallest number, and then the first quartile, then the median or second quartile, third quartile, and the largest number. And that is, uh, when we cut everything in four, we have five pieces. So if we have four cuts, of anything, we will have five pieces. Okay, so let's see how do we work. So first of all, remember, Tableau is not a database, so we need an Excel file to deal with it. So we grab here some numbers from, Co from Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, from select data here, for net income and cash flow from operating activities. And how does it work? So let's go on Tableau, Microsoft Excel, percentiles and quartiles. And here we don't need to add sheet one here because it is the only one that we have. And then go to worksheet. So here we can split it into companies or not. That is, so first of all, let's not do it. So first the cash flow. So let's call this sheet one here cash flow. This is the sum of cash flow. Yeah, that is not what we want. We want the percentile. And then let's create the percentiles here. So first, click on this arrow, measure, it is the sum, percentile. And then what is the percentile that we want? Or let's create the five. Uh, what we call here on our PowerPoint, the five number summary. So let's go here. First, the minimum, measure minimum. So this is the first. Now let's move on cash flow and let's go to the percentile, 25th percent. See how easy it is? No formulas, no nothing. We, we will Combine all of them later, but not now. Cash flow, now the median. So we can go on median or we can go on fifth percentile. The numbers will be the same. So fifth percentile here, uh, fifth percentile, 2,804. If we move to median, Uh, 2,804. So, they are the same. Let's go on percentile fifth. Now, cash flow. Percentile 75. And again, cash flow. Percentile, not percentile anymore, but the maximum number. And here we will have the numbers that we want. And then we want to combine it in only one chart instead of five. Just click here, 
oh, we don't have it because we have no measures. So here, ah, uh, Coca-Cola and Pepsi, and then let's combine them. Whoa, that is what we have. But it's a kind of creepy order. Maximum, minimum, percentile, percentile, percentile. So uh, max, minimum, percentile, 25, 50, and 75. So let's move percentile here to there. And that is what we have. So the minimum for PepsiCo. And here, look at how they behave. However, I don't want to do that way. Pet Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. I want to do the opposite. For each number, I want to I I want to compare Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, Pep PepsiCo. How do we do that? See how easy it is on Tableau. We just move company here and it will aggregate minimum percentile 25, percentile 50, percentile 75 and maximum cash flow for Coca-Cola and Pepsi. And what if I don't want a colors for the percentiles? I want a colors by company. Blue and orange, blue for Coca-Cola, orange for PepsiCo. Instead of the color here, measure names. What do we do? Company on color. And then we have Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. Wow, we have very great numbers here. So the Coca-Cola, no negative number for cash flow. However, PepsiCo, lowest minimum, and then lowest first quartile. But then Pepsi goes up. And then we can also filter it. Coca-Cola and PepsiCo and measure names, edit filter. We can go on these filters as well. So I don't wanna show the 25th percentile. So we will skip it, uh, let's add it. That's okay. But company, I wanna show this filter because I wanna work with Coca-Cola or PepsiCo and then we will create a second one that is the net income. So come here, net income. And then we wanna move this filter there. So apply to worksheet using related data source. And then when we go on company here, the filter will be there. And now, net income so the first net income will be the minimum are you minimum and then oh we don't have it this option yet now we have it oh but let's do it later because then it will go here it not be that easy percentile 25th net income percentile, fifth or median, net income, measure, percentile, 75, and net income, max. And now we move them here, the same, the maximum goes there. And this is what we have, but we don't want the measure names. We want here to be the company, Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. And remember, oh, this one is much easier than this one. So let's move companies over here. And then here for PepsiCo and Coke, first quartile, or the minimum number, sorry. Almost the same, and then first quartile, second quartile, the same. Third quartile, Coca-Cola is better, but on the good years, PepsiCo is much, much better. And there is another plot that we can do it. It is not our focus today, but 
we can do it. That is called the the box and whiskers plot. And how do we do that? Some here. Oh, so for instance, cash flow. And then on field name, we go over here. And then, so this is the cash flow for both. And we can add a second one that is a net income. So here, or let's do only one. And then these numbers would be the outliers. And if we add a company here, so one for Coke, one for PepsiCo. And then, so PepsiCo, the, uh, the quartiles is larger. So let's go on that income that they are quite similar. So here, see, easier, but we have some very, very large numbers for PepsiCo. And then everything that is uh, out of this box here, they, they are outliers. However, guys, we have a video only about box and whisker plots. So watch it. We are not focusing on this one. We will even... I will not delete it, but it will not go on our dashboard. And the video is on our video description. And then let's go to dashboard. And then choir tiles. Remember, dashboard, there is no title, so show title. And then cash flow and net income. So cash flow, net income for uh, Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. And if we add only one here, it changes for all of them because of this filter. Okay, guys, easy, huh? Easy and interactive. So you can do magic with Tableau and the dashboards. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.